Thanks for checking out this video. This is what's coming to Shutter for September of 2021. First off, apologies for this being about a week late coming out. Uh, Shutter literally just sent the information to me. Uh, I know the information's been out for a while, so I assume a lot of people probably already know what I'm going to tell you about what's coming to Shutter. My apologies, but for some reason, Shutter left me off of the email this time. Hopefully, this isn't something that continues to happen um, because that would suck. But anyway, let's get into what is coming for September. First, we're going to go over the Shutter exclusives and originals, which if you don't know, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do no spoiler reviews of their exclusives and originals before they come out, including Creep Show, which is coming in September, season three of Creep Show. Uh, so I will have an, a review, no spoiler review of each episode of Creep Show before it comes out, as well as a no spoiler review of all the exclusive and, and original movies before they come out. Now they're usually come out on, coming out on Thursdays and I put the reviews out on Wednesdays, but sometimes that changes based off of embargo dates and the dates they're coming out. So anyway, uh, the first one coming out is a, uh, I think it's an original. It's their September 2nd release, which is actually just next Thursday at this point. Uh, Superhost. In Superhost, vloggers Teddy and Claire share their experience in and around vacation homes with their subscribers while maintaining a moderate level of internet fame. When their follower count starts to dwindle, they pivot to creating viral content around their most recent host, Rebecca. With all eyes turned towards their super host, Rebecca, they slowly start to realize something isn't right, and as they investigate further, they unlock a horrifying truth. Sounds interesting. Uh, and all of these are going to, you know, all the places. U.S., Canada, uh, U.K., New Zealand, Australia, all that. So just know. And Ireland. Uh, September 9th, Martyrs Lane. In this unsettling ghost story, Leah, 10, lives in a large old house with her family, but can't quite work out why her mother seems so distant. At night, she is visited by a mysterious guest who might be able to give her some answers. With a new challenge every night, Leo is rewarded with bits of knowledge that, when pieced together, threaten to shine a dangerous light on both the truth in, the, in her nightmares and of the world she lives in. That sounds interesting. If the story is good, is good for that one, piecing it all together should be a fun ride. I'm interested. And then coming September 29th is Seance. Camille Meadows is the new girl at the prestigious Edelvine Academy for Girls. Soon after her arrival, six girls invite her to join them in a late-night ritual, calling forth the spirit of a dead former student who reportedly haunts their halls. But before morning, one of the girls is dead, leaving the others wondering what they may have awakened. Also sounds like it could be pretty solid. Once again, if the story's good, I'm in. Then, like I said, Creepshow Season 3 is coming, and Creepshow is starting on Thursday, September 23rd, so most likely that Monday I will have a review out for the first episode, and then I should have one out every Monday as they keep putting it out, because if you're not familiar, the Creepshow episodes come out one at a time each week, usually on a Thursday. So the cool thing here is they're starting it so that we'll be getting episodes during October, which is <sighs> going to be awesome. And then they're, they're continuing with Slasher, Flesh, and Blood. They're still releasing episodes of that. And uh, it looks like September 16th will end up being the final episode of Slasher that goes up. Uh, I have a review on the first two episodes on my channel of it. I wasn't huge on it, but people are telling me it's really starting to pick up, so I might go back and watch the rest of it. But comments down there, are you still watching it, and is it worth it? Okay, so one of the big things they're doing, and I'm not going to read all the movies for this because a lot of these are just movies that have been on Shudder, or I'll just read the titles, but not the synopses. They're creating a Hispanic Heritage Month collection on Shudder of Hispanic and Hispanic-derived films. So they have uh, Beelzebub, De Dead Detectives, The Funeral Home, Good Manners, La Llorona, Lose the Flower of Evil. I need to get to reviewing that one. I've reviewed a bunch of the other ones. Luciferina, The Night Shifter, Perfect, Terrified, another one I need to get to. Tigers Are Not Afraid, and The Untamed. So there you go. The Hispanic Heritage Month collection will be available. 
And I assume that'll be as soon as... Yeah, it doesn't say, but I assume it'll be as soon as September hits that'll be available. That's just me guessing. Okay, so coming... Se oh, thank goodness for this one. Coming September 1st is the original Carrie film, which uh, this is another surprising one. Just like I just recently saw the original Creep Show movie for the very first time, I've never seen Carrie before. In its entirety. I've never seen it before. I know a lot of people are gasping right now. I'm going to put something in the comments like, how dare you? Uh, I know I will remedy it in September because Shudder's going to make it very easy for me to do that. So all these are just in the United States for what I'm going to read. So Carrie. Based on the best-selling Stephen King novel, Carrie is a high school loner with no confidence, no friends, and no idea about the extent of her secret powers of telekinesis. Everyone knows the story, even if you haven't seen the movie for the most part. It's a classic. Brian De Palma. I'm very excited to watch it. I don't have any legitimate excuse I haven't seen it yet, just that it's been on my list. I have an, an amazing amount of films on my list that I haven't gotten to yet. But anyway, going to take care of that. Also coming on the first are the next four films. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It doesn't say what year on that, because there are many Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The one I think I saw is 56, I want to say, and it was really good. I enjoyed that one. One by one, the residents of San Francisco are becoming drone-like shadows of their former selves. If you haven't seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers, definitely watch it. It's cool stuff. Now, the next one is one that I've been meaning to get to as well. Has been on my list for a while, so I'll take care of it next month. Life Force. A frightening journey into the unknown awaits when a mission to investigate Haley's Comet discovers an even stranger phenomenon, an alien spacecraft. Heard good things. Heard only good things for the most part for Life Force, so interested in that. Then the 1963 film, The Haunting. Hill House has a reputation for evil. The mysterious New England mansion has been the scene of grisly murders, but when four people spend the night, they find themselves trapped by The Haunting. Okay. Poltergeist from 1982, the film that scared me to death as a child that I wasn't supposed to watch. Uh, at first, the spirits that invade the Freelings' home seem like playful children, but then they turn angry. Actually, I have a review for Poltergeist on my channel at the moment, so you can find that if you want it. September 6th, coming. The next three films are coming September 6th. The first one, I've seen this film a long time ago, did not enjoy it, but I'm sure a lot of you do. Grave Encounters. For their ghost hunting reality show, a production crew locks themselves inside an abandoned mental hospital that's supposedly haunted, and it might prove to be all too true. I uh, didn't like that film when I saw it, but maybe I need to give it another shot. Let me know your thoughts. Then Grave Encounters 2 will be available. A film student who is obsessed with the movie Grave Encounters sets out with his friends to visit the psychiatric hospital depicted in the original film. Also let me know if I should watch the first one, should I also watch the second one? And if I do, I'd do reviews, obviously. Then the last film coming for the sixth is Resolution. Paranormal forces descend upon a junkie forced to go cold turkey in an isolated cabin. Or do they? I could do without the or do they, because that plants the seed that there might be something psychological going on as opposed to an actual entity. Uh, but it sounds interesting. All right. The next three films are coming September 7th. They look like people. A man starts receiving phone calls warning him that monstrous beings are coming. Very vague. Jug Face. I saw this a long time ago, and I don't think I liked it that much, unfortunately. But I've heard a lot of people say good things about it. A pregnant teen discovers her neighbor's plan to sacrifice her to an evil entity who lives in a pit on the edge of her backwoods community. Even though Ada knows that a sacrifice is required to keep the pit happy, Ada decides to escape. But the pit wants what it wants, and when it doesn't get it, there's usually hell to pay. I mean, great synopsis. Sounds good. But I watched it a long time ago. I didn't really care for it. But maybe I should revisit it. Maybe it's another one of those. Let me know. Dark Waters. When a young English woman attempts to discover her mysterious connection to a remote island convent, she will unlock an unholy communi communion of torment, blasphemy, and graphic demonic depravity. That sounds like a good time. Might have to check that one out. Now, the next two are coming on September 13th. Uh, Miss 45. 
Abel Ferreira's 1981 Grindhouse stars the late, great Zoe Lund as Thana, a mute seamstress who gets raped twice in one day. After Thana manages to kill and dismember her second attacker, she snaps and embarks on a killing spree aimed at lecherous, rapey men, which soon puts the whole city on edge. Does sound kind of interesting. Uh, then the other one coming on the 13th is hashtag like. Rural teen Rosie discovers the mysterious man who, who sexploited and bullied her sister to commit suicide is back online trolling for new victims. After the authorities refuse to get involved, she takes justice into her own hands. Wow, that one is very uh, now. Uh, very, very, uh, yeah, relevant, I guess, is what I'm looking for. So the next four titles are coming September 14th. Whoa. A brother and sister stumble upon their father's secret one year after his death. They soon learn that this secret may not be his alone. May not be his alone. I don't, I don't know. I don't get that. Sorry, my wife was trying to call me during this. And I don't edit. I do one take. Uh, the columnist. Columnist Femke Boot wants to shut her critics up permanently. Hell hath no fury, fury like someone insulted on social media. That's funny. I like that write-up. Uh, might have to check that one out. Sounds interesting. Kriya. A young DJ enticed into a beautiful stranger's home is terrified to find himself up, unable to flee from the death rituals he must perform on the bound and shackled corpse of her father. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Might have to check that one out. Then we have the last one coming on the 14th, which is the House of the Devil. A man lures a babysitter to a house with an unusually large sum of money. Good film, really good film. I believe I have a review for it on my channel. You can check that out. I really enjoy that one. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Then coming September 20th are the next three films. Hammer House of Horror. In this series, the legendary Hammer presents ghoulish mysteries, vengeance from beyond the grave, and timeless tales of undying curses. I assume that's an anthology. I am all about anthologies right now as I watch Creepshow and Creepshow 2. And one, the review for Creepshow is up. Creepshow 2 is coming this weekend, well, tomorrow. So there you go. Uh, also coming on the 20th, The Devil's Reign. A man tries to save his family from a satanic cult ruled by an, a powerful preacher. Eh, doesn't sound up my alley. But let me know if I should watch it. And the last one for the 20th, Extraordinary Tales. Uh, an animated anthology of five tales adapted from Edgar Allan Poe's stories. Hey, I just talked about liking anthologies. Might have to check that one out too. I also am down with animated stuff, so let's check it out. The next two films are coming September 21st. 13 Cameras. A newlywed couple move into a new house across the country only to find out that their marital issues are at least are the least of their problems. Unbeknownst to them, their grim and lascivious landlord has been spying on them from day one. That is a word that I don't read often, so sorry for stumbling so hard over that one. Sounds interesting. Uh, then the other one coming on the 21st is Stitches. I've seen this one before. Kind of slightly been interested in it, so let me know if I should check it out. An evil clown returns from the dead to terrorize the teens who caused his death. Pretty basic, but sounds like it could be good. Then we have on the 27th movies that I very much endorse. It's my favorite horror franchise of all time, and that is the Phantasm films. Unfortunately, Shudder's not been able to get the rights for the second Phantasm film, which is potentially the best film, but I know there have been problems with the rights for that for some time, so I can't really blame them, but they are getting Phantasm, Phantasm 3, 4, and 5, I will read you the, the quick synopses of these if you're not familiar. But if you have not seen the fant any of the Phantasm films, watch them all. All the ones that are available. Unfortunately, two won't be there. Phantasm. When Mike's parents die, his world is turned upside down. But nothing can prepare him for the shocking discovery that a mortician, the late great Angus Grimm, who does an amazing job, and his dwarf army have stolen Mike's parents' bodies. Did we mention the flying spheres? I actually have one over there. Very good. Phantasm 3. Reggie teams up with a boy and a young woman to rescue Mike from the tall man. Short and sweet. Phantasm 4. Reggie, Mike, Jody, and the tall man are drawn to Death Valley for a final showdown. Then Ravager, uh, Phantasm Ravager, which is the fifth one, 
while searching for Mike, Reggie prepares himself for one final epic battle with the Tall Man. Now, I will say a lot of people did not like Ravager. As a really big fan of the Phantasm fra franchise, I realized, you know, it was super low budget. It seemed super low budget, but I really liked it. It really got me here, and uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, actually, back, back here, I don't think it's in, like, this stack kind of further down. Uh, I have the entire blue, like, special edition Blu-ray set of the Phantasm films. So good. Anyway, I can't stress it enough, Phantasm. Anyway, going to cut this off. Let me know what you're excited about down in the comments. Also, what you think I should definitely check out and review. Uh, are you excited about Creepshow coming back for Season 3? I know people have been kind of eh about uh, the stories, but I think it's always fun to watch. Even if I don't like all the stories, if I find a few that I enjoy, which I always do, I feel like it's worth it. I just like the variety. It's kind of like I was saying how I really like anthology stuff. I just like to see, you know, short, fun stories. But anyway, yeah, put some comments down there. Do me a quick favor. Hit subscribe for me. It is literally painless. Takes you a second. Costs you no money. And it helps keep me motivated to keep doing this. And it's your way to say thank you to me if you've liked any video I've ever done. So please do that. Also hit the uh, notification bell button because then you'll know whenever new videos are being put up. But regardless, I thank you for taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.